Hey there, welcome back to eFishing. I'm Rodney. Today, well, y'all can see we're out here on the lake. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a little one month review of this Lawrence Ghost that we got. We've had it a little over a month and we've probably been out five or six times with it. I just want to talk about a few things that I like about it and a few things that I don't like about it. So let's get started. The first thing I really liked about it was is it easy to install. I didn't have to drill any new holes. It fit right up into the motor guide tour that I had. Went on easy peasy. No issues at all. The instructions were fairly straightforward. Easy to put together. Just had one part that I needed a little help putting the, the spring assist on. But other than that, it was easy. The next thing I like about it is the sonar. It's really clean. There's no interference at all on it. Motor it's running right now and uh, it gives a pretty decent little signal down there. It even gives a pretty good signal in the down imaging. My unit's an HDS Gen 3 7 inch screen and there's no issues at all hooking that thing up. Well, there was one issue. I thought I needed this little thing right here, this seven pin to nine pin adapter and it worked, but the problem was this thing didn't transmit temperature, which that's not good. You know, you want temperature on your graph. So I looked around on some of the forums and whatnot, and one little place I found, somebody was talking about this, and they say that you can plug in the nine pin into where your uh, down imaging goes. And then you go over here to settings, and you go to sonar, and let's see here. Go down here to installation. You choose this transducer right here, HDMI M slash H-9. And that's all it took. And I got my temperature working on that. So if y'all got a Gen 3, HDS Gen 3, and you need to get your temperature on it, that's how you do it. Plug that thing into your down imaging and uh, choose that transducer right there. So something else that I like really well about this thing is when you go to pick it up, that motor turns to the side automatically for you. And it just goes in there real easy. Now, here's probably the most nifty thing of the whole thing. Is if you see this little hook right here, you take your cord and put into that right there and then pull on it. It makes it real easy to deploy your motor. This might be the easiest deploying control motor I've ever been around. That little hook right there really helps in deploying your motor. So really, the only thing I don't like on this thing is the way the foot pedal is when it's going straight. The pedal's almost flat. And really, for me, I'd rather it be just a little bit toe up like that for when it's going straight. And that's really my only big complaint about this thing is the way the foot pedal is. And I haven't figured out how to adjust that. So if anybody knows how to do that, do me a favor and leave it down there in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. So there's one thing I really like about this foot pedal. And it's the fact that you can switch the on off button from the left to the right and put it where it's supposed to be now coming from a motor guide i tried it on the left and i'd stand on that thing and go why am i not going anywhere and i'd look down and i wouldn't be standing on the on off switch so just being able to switch that is real nifty the other thing about this thing i don't know if you can hear it or not but it's really quiet the only thing you can really hear is up there in the head of the thing. When it goes to turning around and whatnot, you just, you hear, it sounds like a little robot up there. I don't know. It's taking a little use to getting to, but otherwise, that's fine. Let's do a little test on the anchor feature and see how it is. We're right here up next to this buoy. We're gonna hit the button and see how close we stay to it. We're about, I don't know, three or four feet from it. So let's hit the button. So 
So here we are. I'm backed up just a little bit. We're in a pretty good little breeze here. Back of the boat swinging around a little bit, be in line with it. We're pretty close. There it is, it's turning. We're pretty close to where we hit the button at. That ain't bad where it's at. So it's pretty close. The back of the boat's swinging around a little bit. So there's a little test of the anchor feature. I don't have anything to complain about that. There it is. We're right here at it. About three foot from the buoy. I guess the last thing I really like about this motor is this, how it's pretty powerful. It'll throw your butt out of the boat if you're not careful especially if it's over five it gets pretty dicey and really i don't know that i've really fished with it over five yet and i've been in some you know 20 mile an hour winds fishing in it and five held it pretty good all right guys last thing we're going to do here is we're going to do a little little speed test and see how fast this thing is now i've only got it on a 24 volt system so i've only got two batteries keep in mind i've been fishing this morning too so they've got a little use on them but still let's see what happens we're going to turn it all the way up to max and we're going to see what that does here we go there's two miles an hour two and a half 2.8 Three, 3.1, 3.1 miles an hour, 3.2 for just a second. There we go, 3.1 miles an hour on max. There you go, 3.1, hit 3.2 on max too. The other day when I turned it up, it went to about 3.4, 3.5, but I had fresh batteries and everything that day and it was dead calm. That ain't bad, uh, I'll take it. Uh, I don't know that my motor guide got over two miles an hour, so there you go. We're gonna wrap it up. Really the only two complaints I got with this thing is I didn't know about the, the transducer that I could plug it straight into the down imaging and get my temperature to work that was a little frustrating but it's all worked out no big deal and i wish i could figure out how to adjust the foot pedal just a little bit to get just a little bit of toe up when i'm going forward so there's one other thing that kind of i don't know it's that it well it bothers me a little bit it's the way this arrow is and the way the position of the shaft is what i think is going forward which I would think that's going forward right there, but it's not. This little mark right here that I put on there is going forward. I don't know, it's just a little optical illusion and I'm getting used to it, but with it, what it says is going forward and what it really is, is eh. And that arrow might be off just a little bit, I don't know. But anyways, no big deal. Just a little minor inconvenience. That's about it. I'm Rodney. We'll be fishing. We'll uh, catch y'all out here on the lake next time. We're out.